At six, parents, listen up. You have likely heard it before. A helmet could save your life. But a Metro Atlanta teenager left in a coma woke up wishing he had wore one. A February skateboarding accident ended Jackson Lineford's school year, his athletic season, and nearly his life. But he is not alone. Each year, an estimated 65,000 kids go to ERs with skateboarding injuries. Only on CBS 46, Jackson tells our Sierra Cummings how his recovery turned into helmet advocacy. You can find Jackson Langford only swinging at the park. Eventually. No longer skating. Just right now, it's too soon. This park much calmer and quieter than the ones he used to visit on his wheels until February. What do you remember? Absolutely none of it. Wow, none of it. But his family remembers it all. About six months ago, the 17 year old skateboarder tried a trick at a Peachtree City site. He didn't land on his feet. Instead, his head pounding the pavement with no helmet. The injuries were life threatening, a coma and brain bleeds. You wake up in a hospital and you're like, how did I get here? And to be told that it's your whole world just kind of gets shaken up. After 27 days in the hospital, he had to learn to walk, talk and think all over again. Sometimes it's still challenging. If I get frustrated with anything that I still can't do, I put it away for a few hours or a few days and come back to it later. Hopefully it'll be better. We found about 66% of skateboard accidents result in emergency hospital visits, according to the latest U.S. National Safety Council data. The research also shows the severity of trauma can be reduced by about 50% with a helmet. Yet from local parks to even the Olympics, it's common to not see the protective headgear. Oh boy. <laughs> the team now believes the risk that, that hit hard aren't worth it. Being told that I wasn't going to be able to finish high school or graduate on time and that my track season got taken away. There is no Georgia law or local ordinance requiring helmets specifically on skateboards. Jackson says if his case doesn't change the law, he hopes it at least changes the mind of fellow skaters. Wear the helmet. It may not keep you out of the hospital, but it will definitely keep your skull from breaking. Sierra Cummings, CBS 46 News.